how in the world building in public can make you more successful as a programmer and business builder? Let me explain. I developed and launched my first few apps as many other startup founders do. I built them in a sales mode for many months without showing them to anyone in process. Partly because I was afraid to share my half done product, partly because of fear to get ideas stolen. Of course, I didn't do any marketing as well. If you build then people will come, right? Nope, that is a lie. As my apps never generated more than one slip of the money, I dropped them and focused on freelancing. About nine months ago, I decided that I would like to give one more try to building my own app business, but this time I decided to go with building public approach and shared my revenue numbers and behind the scenes process. But wait, who cares about your work? Well, I will say there are at least two groups. Those are friends and other founders who would like to learn from your findings and struggles. And those are users of your product or service who would like to stay up to date with your business news. By building in public, you are building both environment for your founder journey, you are sharing what you are doing, finding new other founders, friends in makers niche. And also you are building stronger relationship with your customers. Twitter probably is the most popular place for sharing this type of content. I'm sharing screenshots on Instagram and Twitter and asking for feedback. Also, I started live streaming my indie app development process on Twitch. Basically, I'm live streaming my product development process. On the live streams, I'm sharing what are my long term and short term plans and often starting streams with looking into monthly revenue metrics to track the progress. So, but what else can be shared? Basically, you can share whatever strategies to build your product, hire people, whatever you are doing, quotes, screenshots, feedback from customers. Okay, but what are the benefits from building in public? Why to do that? Building in public allows you to validate your product and business ideas rapidly fast and get instant feedback on them. Also, you can attract new audience and test your assumptions about MVP. During one of the live streams, I developed an app on iPad just to test what is possible to do without MacBook. I released it in the App Store test flight program and got valid and actionable feedback on it. So, in two days, we got from idea to the App Store with MVP. Another bigger app was built and launched in a week. During the live streams I'm getting valid feedback on my design, on my code and that is really helpful and also I met online other builders who are building apps and sharing their progress so it's nice community <laughs> over there. If you are building huge startup and planning to attract investors and hire someone to help with it, that also may help. And also by sharing your work you are building your online presence, you are building your presence as industry and domain leader. Last but not least in my list of benefits is accountability. As I am working in public, basically I am live streaming my work on my own indie apps and as soon as I am on live stream there is close to zero chance that I will start mindlessly scroll Instagram or fall into YouTube rabbit holes. I am running Pomodoro timers and I am working really on my tasks. And yeah, last year I had goal to get into the 1000 of revenue on my own indie apps and last year yeah, we managed to multiply my app revenue in just a few months and yeah that was amazing experience are there cons from working in public yes of course for example if you have a competitor in the market and that competitor is not working uh, publicly and they are kind of looking on your experiments they can get value from what you are doing basically see what you are trying and just repeat what was successful for you yeah, that could be a fire advantage for that. Probably if you are a kind of big company or huge startup, you should think about that. What would you like to share and what not? My coworker decided to join as well. Most of those fears are not really relevant for indie developers or very small startups. So, and how to start? Think which channel will work the best for you, what you like to do. <laughs> YouTube videos, I will like if you will start record YouTube videos and tag me into those, then I will be able to follow. But YouTube videos are very time consuming. I highly recommend Twitter because you can share short videos, short, uh, you can share pictures, text that works perfectly fine. Decide which channel will, you will use and also yeah, keep in mind with which channel and content type you will be able to be consistent. I don't know, for example, if you are building tools for business, then maybe LinkedIn will be your channel of choice.
So if you are looking how to get into the tech career and start programming all that stuff, I have a playlist for you. And also you can check my indie app development playlist if you are interested to hear more about this topic. And yeah, likes and subscribes are highly appreciated. If you like to follow my journey, 